Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Mother's Day. Uh, Where are we going? Jackson. Jackson. For what? Sushi. What else? A whole list of stuff. A whole list of stuff. I've been out here. Well, none of that matters. Everything's always disheveled. I'm always like, mm, I'm about to turn this camera on, I should straighten it out. But then in five minutes, it looks like this again. No matter how many times you set these up, they always fall over when you drive. Drone, controller, cameras, remotes, router, batteries, beef sticks. I just, uh, I take you certain on an empty stomach, like it says to you. And then 30 minutes or so later, I take zinc, uh, B vitamin, um, selenium, EC, GC, a bunch of other stuff that says don't take on an empty stomach. Well, I'm not eating yet. So what is considered an empty stomach? So I come out here and I get beef jerky, beef stick, because I know I'm getting in the car and it's there and that's the snacks we carry with us. It's pretty stable. So I wish some, you can go and go. I wish somebody, drive around back just so we see what's up. In case there's any surprises ever um i wish somebody would publish like when it says take q certain on an empty stomach okay well you take q certain so that your body will absorb zinc the q certain is the ionosphere ionosphere uh, i think that's how you say it but basically it allows your body to absorb the zinc which is what you need there's several other things that will allow it to absorb also so how far apart are you supposed to take them? Because nobody says that. What is an empty stomach? If you're taking a handful of vitamins together, do some of them counter the other vitamins and make them not work as well? Nobody publishes that stuff. Like, it's almost impossible to find. So, why? Why is it such a mystery? Why not just put out, hey, this is what you should take and how you should take it and when you should take it? The pond is rather full. Rather full. Drive up a little, we'll look through that other gate. Both those trees, the big pine trees, are underwater. All of the little trees on the other side of the pond are underwater. Not a problem. Watch this, watch this rock here. Okay, I didn't realize you were turning this way. Yeah, it's up to the edge, pretty. It's about, it's, it's got another foot or so before it's going through that culvert, it looks like. It might be going through it already on the low side. We have to address this mess. Nice. So. So. Buttons. On your underwear, buttons on your underwear. On your forehead. Always to your forehead. I always heard so. I'd, I'd say so, and some of you say so buttons on your underwear. Hey. That's all we got right now. I've been all in my bag. You've been all in my business. you be all in your feelings. I've been all in them trenches. I've been all in my bag. Where did all my steak go? <clears throat> I was hungry. Where's your food? It's not here yet. Huh. That's why I ate yours. So what is this? This is the Valentine roll with no rice. So it's a spicy tuna wrapped in tuna? Spicy tuna with avocado wrapped in tuna with spicy mayo. And they make that special for you or they have that? Um, they make it without the rice special for me. I think mine looks better. Mm, that's nice. It has more colors. Seaweed salad, mango, masago.
Next week, she said, hopefully we have a new chef. I said, we'll just go get one. <laughs> we're not gonna ask him. We're just gonna bring him. He's gonna wake up. He's gonna be at a sushi place. Surprise. I said, you might just have to learn Spanish. Oh yeah. <laughs> you be all in my business. No, they notice me flexing. Fit in all in my fitness. I've been all in my bag. First of all, let's watch this guy up on the up, up on, on the, the curb, curb while probably he's wearing his mask while he's driving. Probably still gonna curb that rim. Mm. No, he saved it. Stay away from him, though. Clearly, clearly, he is a uh... a mask hole. No, no, I wasn't gonna say a mask hole. Just uh, he's special. He has issues. Real special. Like he's sitting still right now and he still might sideswipe you. Let's just stay clear of him. Not a problem. That flag's pretty. So away we go. It is pretty. <clears throat> Where are we going? To the moon. Where are we going really? Oh, I was gonna go to Ulta. I need to run in and grab some beers. Conditioners, right? I don't need anything at Ulta. Today is about me. It is not about you today. I don't like that hairspray you've been using. It's conditioner spray. Is that, that that's, that's what I don't like? No. Okay. That's I, what I'm going to go get. Okay, you're going to go I forbid the Just, other stuff you've been using. And then where are we going? Um, I think we're gonna go get dog food and to tractor supply for a myriad of things that are on your list. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay? Okay. 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 We have seen a lot of empty spaces here in Jackson. Yes. We've seen buildings literally torn down from last week to this week. A lot of places out of business. Everywhere that's open has help wanted signs. Place we go eat said that they can't find enough employees. They just lost part of their employees. They had some college kids working there who have now graduated and are now leaving. So they've lost over 50% of their labor they've lost a chef they're actively looking for a chef they pay over a thousand dollars a week and cannot find a chef um, a sushi chef we are here at tractor supply and we're gonna run in here and see if they have any of the things we need we don't really need them I'm just stocking up on stuff that we will need it'll be nice to have if, especially if it becomes hard to get and there will come a time, which we're close to right now, where it will be cheaper just to buy raw materials and make our own cages than to buy these cage kits. But we'll duck in here and see if they have any of these cage kits, um, prefab nest boxes, feeders, and I'll probably just end up having Tim and Matt make a bunch of nest boxes for us as it becomes, they just dry up. They're not being resupplied. Look at all these empty shelves. Big empty spot there. Yeah, there's a nest box. No cages. Not not here. Here's another nest box. A couple Do water need a, bottles. Do we need a cattle prod? Mm, no. Come on. Some cage clips. No cage clip tool. I'll give those to David so I don't have to open those packs. If I got. Mm, somebody's trying to get clever there. Get a little extra. A little extra. Uh, this is for hay. We'll just use wire for this. How much more do you think you can carry? Oh, I've got, I've still got like eight fingers to go. Three more hands. Well, hey there. Hey there. What you got? I got some nest boxes and some water bottles, and I think there's some cage clips in here. And then got some purple seed potatoes which I'm pretty excited about and I've got a feed box too. Cool. 
Cool. Tractor supply. All right, we'll go home and put that together. They have all kinds of fancy hose repair shit. These are the ones I like the best, just these normal. The ones we got last time? Cheapy, yeah, well, I say cheap. They used to be like a dollar, they're 428 now. Look at those. Okay. See, they've got all kinds of different yeah. stuff, but man, these are so easy to use. Pair of scissors, flat blade screwdriver. Ooh. Ooh. Not that. Not that. That. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Put those in your little pocket. Not really. And then shovels. Seems like shovels, we break them um, pretty consistently. This one's got a metal handle. The ones we got last time had fiberglass handles. This shovel's a lot heavier. We got two of those. We don't even need them right now, but yeah, uh, but I wouldn't well, want to try having to build shovels. Well, so. and by the time we need them, they might not be here. These ones have metal handles. These cobalt the ones we got last time were fiberglass, so if we have them go bad right here a lot of times so maybe that will last says lifetime but what does that really mean lifetime with stipulations a lot of empty slots here huh found some new scissors what are you going to use them for i don't like those rotating oh ones. no these are terrible these would be i've bought a couple that had those rotating things there's too many failure points and they don't they don't have leverage that love, not love what? Those big ass. Oh. <laughs> These damn shovels are heavy for shovels. Well, they're shovels. And they're made of metal. Speak up. Cilantro and sweet potatoes. It'd be out front, which you can't get to from here. Yes. So we'll check out. We'll go look. And then if they have them, we'll just buy some. They have this little loop here, otherwise I'd never be able to close the door. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a multi-cam black loop? Yes. We're looking for tater tots. Tater tots. Some nice little corn starts. Well, not so. They're all missing. They didn't all start, apparently. Or somebody stole those ones, pocketed them to take their corn plant home. <laughs> I don't see... Uh... There's no potatoes out here. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just hit the tractor supply by our house. We know they're there. And their stuff seems better taken care of. All right. Oh, I thought you said it wasn't going to rain anymore. I know. It said it. The, it showed that the... It looks like a damn tornado coming. Okay. What else is on the list? Dog food tarps. Okay, let's go to the dog food store. It's right here. Thunder, lightning. Well, lightning, I haven't heard the thunder yet. Thunder. You have a lightning tracker? I have a lightning tracker on my watch here. It's an app on my phone tells me when there's lightning and where it's at. Is it a weather app or is it solely lightning? It is a weather app that will alert you for weather, for lightning or tornadoes. What does that mean? Don't go outside or hurry up and get inside? Uh, both. What's the protection from lightning when you're outside? Uh, 
don't be exposed. I thought, like don't, they used to don't say, don't hold anything that's metal. They used to say take cover under trees, and no, now I thought terrible. they're like, don't take cover under trees. No, because a tree is more like a lightning rod <clears throat> than just your body, I guess. Honestly, I'm not sure. If you're wearing rubber soled boots, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Oh no, you'll still get struck by lightning. We know people that have been struck by lightning several times wearing rubber soled boots. It's because God hates them. They usually get struck more than once by light. People have been struck by lightning. A lot of times have been struck several times in different incidences. And we had a parking lot that was just apt to get struck by lightning for some reason. The old shop? Yeah. Okay, we were in there maybe five minutes. It's completely black out here now. Clearly Amanda's uh, weather app is a little uh, not calibrated today. They only had one bag of dog food. When we got the puppy, we started feeding them this, and the uh, two older dogs started eating it, and just started running around like they were two, three years younger. So we just started feeding them all this. We know I won't get struck by lightning, but you might. So we started feeding them all the puppy food and the two older dogs started acting several years younger so we just continued to feed it to them i don't know maybe it's too high in fat for them or something but they sure do seem happier so um petco here only had one bag or pet smart had one bag we're gonna go over to petco which is about five minutes from here and see what they have I keep saying we're going to switch them over to raw, and we just haven't. But this dog food is how much? Fifty dollars a bag? Uh, we just paid seventy-four dollars with tax. Seventy-four dollars so. for a forty-seven pound bag. So we have a lot of chicken from last year, and you can feed dogs uh, bone-in chicken if it hasn't been cooked. So I think that's what we're going to do. We have. Um, hundreds of pounds of chicken. Well, we have a hundred chickens from last year. Big, huge Cornish cross in the freezer still, and we're not using them. And my concern is they're gonna eventually freeze or burn before we use them. So we're gonna hack some of those up and start feeding 50-50 uh, chicken with this uh, feed and see how the dogs react to that. But right now, uh, next, next move is Petco. Uh, severe thunderstorm warnings right now. From, we went from sunny, not having any rain on the radar to oh shit you're about to die so we're going to run over to petco get some more dog food and then see from there so i crashed a drone the other day i don't know if you guys have seen that yet or not it flew into one of the giraffes flipped upside down hit the upper deck upstairs on the landing and then propelled itself off upside down to the first floor in the garage I don't know if you've seen that yet. So I have another drone that had just gotten back from repair from being crashed, and I have it with me. My intention was to fly the drone while we were here and get just some transition B- Ooh, Ooh. I guess I should focus this. There was a good lightning bolt, huge one. So I don't think that I'm going to be flying the drone any. Although the drone will fly in rain somewhat, but there's just not a lot of vision. There's not a lot of good, uh, you yeah, can't see not. any distance or anything. People clearly are not sure how to drive in the rain. I don't know why we're even surprised by that. I'm, I am not surprised. I am surprised that this... So there was a gas small. station here three weeks ago and they tore it down. There was a restaurant. The Steak and Shake has been torn down flat to the ground now. This restaurant is gone. There's a few other places we've seen where they've ripped buildings down. A lot of out of business. Okay. 10 minutes later, the rain has somewhat stopped. Petco did not have the dog food we wanted. We got what they did have. I didn't take the GoPro in. Lots of empty shelves. Not just shit empty shelves. Whole entire shelf units empty. I have some footage on my cell phone.
they did not have the food for the ninja cat. You might have to downgrade to like a sumo or something. Was that chick hitting on you? I don't know. Was she hitting on me? I don't know. She was looking at my shoulders, so maybe she was seeing some muscle. I don't know. Do you work out? Do you work out? All the time. So, you were looking for cat food. Yes. The girl with the red hair in here? Not like a redhead. The girl with the red hair. Okay. I'm like, hey, is there any chance I'm looking for Purina dog food, this brand, blah, blah, blah. Yes. 47 pound. Any chance it's in the back because it's not out here. Ka-chow. Okay, dog food. Rabbit boxes. They chew these up. They use them as litter boxes a lot. Um, they're pretty thin. It's just convenient. So I buy them. We always have several uh, in reserve. When they get nasty or when they chew them to pieces, we just pop a new one in. Rabbit water bottles. I've tried it all kinds of things. These are the easiest ones to use. I have them on the outside of the cages. You just pull the top off. Yes, they have a flip up. Don't even mess with that. Pull the top off, fill them up with a hose. Until you change over to a, uh, a line system like we used in the rat cages, five gallon buckets on top, water lines and brass nipples, this is the best way to go until you move to something like that. These cost $10 a piece now. They were $5 just a few years ago. Cage clips, we buy the pre-staged um, cages, these right here, and they have these little clips that put them together but to make them more solid and permanent, you wanna just use these cage clips. I don't have a J-clip plier set here to show you how to put them on, but it's, it, it's the only thing you can possibly buy. It's just J-clips, cage clips, that's all it is. Um, in any place you find them, you'll typically find the pliers. We'll do a video on that later. Some shovels, some dog food. They didn't have the dog food we typically use. I use this right here, under two years, puppy. Um, large chunk and the dogs have done amazing on it the puppy is I'll bet he's close to a hundred pounds now um, but the more importantly the two older dogs that are six almost seven years old six years old maybe the two great Pyrenees they now move like their puppies they didn't um, and we didn't start feeding them the first couple months I had Magnus here I didn't let them have that other chow and then they started showing interest in it and trying to get his food. So I just gave up the fight on it, let them have it, and they act so much younger now. Come on up. Come on. Hello. Hello. Can you see how tall he is, how big he is? He's not even standing all the way up. Hello. You see those pictures of those dogs with those people, and you're like, oh, that girl's really small. No, this dog really is that big. I'm 5'8". 5'8" probably about 185 right now and that dog is ever can put his paws up on my shoulders and his head is taller than mine um, that was a big dog until she got next to this big dog and this dog here now acts like she's two or three years younger and the only thing that's changed the only thing that's changed is the feed we're feeding her so we're going to stick with that for a little while um, we'll probably The rest of it goes up top to the rabbit area. So I think we'll get a four-wheeler.
just uh, drive that up there. <clears throat> what do you think? Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Super loud, right? So the guys hit me up and said that because the drain pipes are down below the top line of the pond, the downspouts are backing up and uh, bubbling out up here. So they're going to have to do some work and raise those up. So let's go see what they were talking about with that. Well, I know what they were, but let's go look. Whoa, that's cool. Check that out. If anything, we probably need to be more careful now, close to the edge. So the, the drain lines come through here, and they are underneath the water now. So I don't know how they're gonna pull those up without them kind of coming and then facing uphill. Maybe it doesn't matter, I don't know. But we'll see. Maybe we just dig the line of the pond back and just kind of have a trench where they're exposed in there. Maybe that would take care of it. But there's the pond line. That tree's underwater. We'll probably lose it. Those trees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight at least, we'll probably lose those. Maybe not. And then here's the, the water here. Awesome. Super cool. Super cool. So I don't know how much higher we can, well, I, I guess we can go higher. We're not to the culvert yet. I don't think anything's coming out the backside of the culvert yet. So it'll come up a little bit higher still. Pretty, pretty cool. And then here, maybe we take this and we kind of shave it back so it's more downhill. So we reclaim some of this dirt, use it other places. Just have it kind of taper down. So we don't have such a drop off into the pond, so we have more of a walk in. I rev it up and spin the wheels out like that just to clear some of the mud out. Any place I drive through here and mud gets, there's seeds in the mud. So any place these tire tracks leave mud, Inevitably, grass grows. So I got some cage clips, hose repair parts, water bottles. All of this stuff will live up there. Potatoes, those will go inside. She'll want to plant those. I'll take the receipt. I'll take that receipt, take these. We'll put the uh, shovels in the feed shed. Cat attack. Hello, come here. Come here. Hello, you want some pets? You want me to put my fingers in your ears? Not today. I'm gonna pick you up by your tail. Cats love to be picked up by their tails. say I need some kind of tool stand on this thing where I can just stand them up but really I need something kind of to the side if you guys haven't seen we always carry these insulated uh, bags these ones are just from Sam's Club they were a few bucks I don't know what they cost nowadays we usually carry five or six of these with us and these crates they fold down like this when Amanda got these, I'm like, you will never use those. But man, we use these all the time. They're great, these Instacrates. And those come from uh, Sam's Club. Costco has some version of it also that's pretty good. 
well, it's identical, it's just different color. When you look at this, and this gate's open, it looks like it sags. It is not this sagging. It is literally the weight pushing the suspension down. We usually keep a couple of uh, extension cords here, just on the fence like this, so we can use them wherever. And uh, Magnus found it and chewed it up into pieces. I don't know if it makes any difference stopping it from the kill switch or just the ignition key. I don't think it does. These shovels are super heavy for a shovel. And I have split feelings about that. Number one, they're heavy. And you're not going to want to carry it around and it's going to be more wear and tear on you. But on the other hand, it's heavy. So when you slam it into the ground to dig a hole, the weight, uh, maybe you do less work and the weight of the shovel does more of the work. I don't know. Half of one, six dozen the other, I suppose. No food coming through here right now, buddy. Nothing in the basket. He's grabbing her fur. I mix in more raw. They still do get a lot of raw meat. Um, and that's it. Just gonna unload all this stuff. What do you guys think? What do you think? Tell me in comments. Should we make this pond twice as big? As you see, we're not using this upper field for anything, although I keep saying we're going to. South facing is exactly that way. North facing is this way, which means row houses, gardens, whatever we want to do up here, more animals. We could fence it, cross fence it easily, but we could dig this almost to those bushes there we could make this bigger 
We could even take it this way some. We can't go that way because that's a levee we built. We built that dam across there. This dirt here, we put it all here. We could chop it down, I suppose, and come down in the ground here and just get rid of all this. We put all this here to make a jump. That's why it's higher right there. Here's our uh, duck, our little swale we built. Tim sliced that in so the water evacuates out of there. I feel like we should probably route it, S it back and forth a few times to kind of hold the water in here rather than just evacuate it off the property, but that's a whole separate project. But the whole purpose of that was to keep it from flooding here and it would make a swampy mess in the rabbit pin. And now it does not, it works perfectly. We're getting some rain off the roof here. So it's kind of soupy muddy here. And all we have to do to fix that is put gutters in and then route the gutters into a tank and then the overflow wherever we want it to go. I'll come up here and top water off. I've got too many rabbits in a couple cages. I just need to set more cages up and put another row of cages in here and push them together. I can put two more cages here. I can put a three, four more there, and then I can put a row here and a row here. But uh, like I said, we've always got extra nest boxes. No idea what that is in there, that green stuff. Um, extra feeders, extra water bowls, cages, dog crates, the chickens like to lay eggs in here and leave presents, extra water bottles. Dark, so these chickens have already roosted up in here. But that's it, you guys have seen all this stuff here. Here outside of Magnus's pen, I just close the doors while they're eating. Here's a dead frog. No telling what happened to that. Oh, now you want to eat. Stay out of it, dummy. Oh yeah, there you go. Let her be. Magnus. Magnus. Man, I'm getting mud all over me. My suspicion is that blood is off of him. Come on. Magnus! Let it go! Magnus! Get in your kennel! No! No! Get out! No! It's always been the other one, it's never been that one. Come here! Come here! Come here, let me see. I don't think that's her blood. I think it's out of his mouth. Hide your foot. Let me see your leg. It's usually her that starts it. They all have food. None of them were eating. 
They all have food. None of them were eating. None of them gave a shit about eating until another dog started walking towards it. So, ridiculous. All right, you stay out tonight. He'll stay locked up for now. So we figure out what the hell we're gonna do. Really, we're not gonna do shit. They're just gonna grow out of it. Get the uh, dog fur and slobber off of me. <laughs> animal tamer wrangler he grabs that fur and whips him around and it kind of like almost like jujitsu's him she'll be walking with a limp probably see you don't even want to eat all that bullshit and none of you are even eating you're really messing their hair up see the slobber on his nose has blood in it that's off of his mouth Ridiculous. They all have plenty of food. We have babies in there. There are babies in there. Yeah, that's a cute little one. Your mama bunny. She's usually friendly. Well, they, she's always been friendly, but of course if a camera's on, that's the time I'll get mauled. We have babies out of the nest boxes here. Hello, fatties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have too many over here growing out. There's babies. Oh, we showed you those ones. And I'll bet there'll be babies coming in these other two here pretty quick. And that's it. And of course, I don't have my poop shoes on. And here I am with mud and poop all over me. So I'll rinse those off before I go inside.